Hey guys, it's Corosum here and today I'm going to show you how to access files in a S3 bucket using a pre-signed URL. In the previous video, we learned how to upload files to a S3 bucket using a Node.js backend. And today we're going to access those files by generating a pre-signed URL. Sounds good? So let's get started. When you upload an object, a file or something to Amazon S3 bucket, it's private by default. And sometimes you kind of have to keep it like that because you don't want everyone to access it. However, there can be scenarios that you want to grant temporary access to some users or some application to access those files um, without making them public. So that's where this pre-signed URL comes in handy. A pre-signed URL, it's kind of a special URL that provides temporary access to a specific S3 object. It contains authentication information in a query string in the URL. So it allows anyone who possesses the URL to access that particular object in the uh, S3 bucket for a limited period of time. Alright, so let's see how we can generate a pre-signed URL to access object in our S3 bucket. Alright, so in the previous video, we created an S3 bucket and also we set up credentials to access that bucket with our uh, Node.js project. And then I walk you through our project. It's a simple Node.js REST API written with TypeScript. So in the previous video, we created the function to upload files to our S3 bucket. And also we installed few packages, um, AWS SDK and this uh, express file upload and also and this TypeScript definitions for express file upload package and in this function we create a new instance um, from AWS S3 by providing these credentials and then we rename our file with some unique string using the timestamp and also the MIME type and then we um, use this function uh, S3 dot upload uh, that function to upload files and also we wrap that with a promise uh, and if the function returns an error we reject the promise uh, otherwise uh, if it returns a success then we resolve the promise and also then um, we created a controller and controller function to access that function using our controller so that we can access this uh, functionality with the route so today we will have a similar approach to generate a pre-signed url as well first we will create a new reusable function uh, like we did in the previous video this uh, upload to s3 we will create a new function uh, we will name it something like generate pre-signed url or something uh, and we will generate that uh, pre-signed URL using our um, AWS SDK and after that we will create a new controller function to access that uh, reusable function and we will create a new route as well so that user can access that function and generate a pre-signed URL alright so let's create a new function here in our functions.ts uh, file where we define all the reusable and utility functions. So I'm going to type uh, export const. I'm going to name that generate pre-signed URL. Yeah. And it should be an async function. So as the parameters for this function um, we will only need the file name of that uh, object so file name should be the parameter and it should be a string we will create a try catch block for this Alright, so 
if uh, this goes to the catch block we will uh, return this error like we did in our previous function and then all right so in this try block uh, we're gonna have to create a new instance of our AWS SDK so let me just copy this piece of code and paste it right here all right so the instance is uh, created and next let me create a new constant const um, let's name this um, resign URL and it should be equals to and in this S3 instance we have a function called get signed URL all right so as the first parameter we should uh, put this keyword get object and as the second parameter we should pass this params object the first um, field of that is uh, bucket the bucket name all right so i think we should get the bucket name as well uh, as a parameter of this function i forgot to uh, add another parameter i'm gonna name that bucket name and it should also be a string bucket name and as the second field should be the file name uh, comes as key and it should be the file name parameter we are passing uh, as a parameter and the third one which is um, the expires property this means how long um, this pre-signed URL should be active so after some period of time this should this URL should be uh, expired so let me put 100 which means 100 seconds all right so I think that's it let's return this uh, pre-signed URL after that yeah we use this get sign URL function and we pass this get object keyword as the operation and uh, as the second parameter we pass this um, params object which contains bucket name and the file name and also the expire time all right cool let's uh, save this and uh, let's go back to our controller let me uh, minimize this function too all right in the controller it's basically the same uh, as this function export const view file yeah that makes sense uh, this should be a request handler and it should be an async function So as the parameters we should put request and response yeah I'm just gonna copy this piece of code oops I keep forgetting this uh, control V and control C that uh, command V and command C okay so um, yeah instead of this uh, this if statement so this uh, checks if the file is present so what we're gonna do is uh, request the file name should come um, as I am planning it should come with as a URL segment yeah let's say API slash uh, files slash then the file name yeah as a um, as a param request dot params dot then the file name I'm gonna name that field as file name and if that exists then we should call this um, instead of upload to s3 let's say generate pre-signed URL and make sure to uh, import that file as uh, that function as well 
uh, on top of the controller because in this id it imports automatically for me by the ide all right so as the first um argument we should pass the uh, file name which is uh, this one and second argument is the bucket and yeah the result should be the file path uh, returned by this uh, function yeah so instead of 201 should be 200 because we don't create a new record all right so hit save and let's create new route for this in the routes file let me copy this and it should be a get route as the path um make it like uh, files slash then the file name just like this and then the function name view file and let's open postman and let's see if it works let me just copy this url and i'm gonna paste it here instead of uh, upload files should be files slash then the file name well, let me get a file name from my bucket so let's let's copy this file name and it should be like this and it should be a get request yeah let me quickly our uh, uh, start the application npm run dev Oops, I think I forgot to um, start Docker because uh, this um, because this application is connected to a uh, database uh, running on Docker. It's it's not relevant to this uh, tutorial, by the way. Um, I'm just doing this because otherwise uh, it will return an error because it cannot connect to the database. All right, so Docker is started. Um, it's running. let's restart the application and let's see um it should come with this console log yes connected to database let's in the postman uh, let's hit send yeah we have a result i think uh, press control and um, click it. i don't know whether you saw it but the fig, fig is downloaded yeah let me try that again We can access our file yeah it's pretty easy right uh, all right so i think that's it um, i think uh, we successfully learned how to generate pre-signed url to access our files on our s3 bucket all right so i hope you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll see you guys very soon in the next video